don't forget to subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos. This block is called Color Burst. It finishes 12 inches. Here's the diagram. And here are four blocks set block to block. Usually when you see the, this, it has kind of a curve or swirly effect and when you put these all together in a quilt. Here are the patches. There are three patches and we have AccuQuilt dies for all the patches. Patch A is a three inch finished square. We cut three and a half inch squares. We'll need five patches for the background and four patches each for the light and the dark fabric. Patch B is a one and a half inch finished half square triangle. We cut two and three eighth inch squares. Cut them in half once on the diagonal and you'll get two patches. We need eight patches each of the light and the dark accent fabrics. And patch C is a one and a half inch finished square. We cut two inch squares and we need four patches of the dark fabric. Here are the cutting instructions for each of the fabrics. I've listed options here for you for the half square triangles. You can cut patches either the exact size or cut them larger to trim later. You have to make half square triangles two at a time or to just cut your patches. And you can also choose to make half square triangles eight at a time. And the half square triangles are made with the light and the dark fabric. Here are the fabrics I've chosen, light, medium, and dark blues. This is patch A, the large squares. These are the half square triangles, patch B. And these are the small squares, patch C. I use the AccuQuilt to cut my patches. So for step one, we're going to take these large squares and we're going to make two units like this and two units like this. These will be stitched on the sides and these will be stitched on the top and bottom. So sew these together and press your seams open and then put those to the side. Next, we're going to piece our half square triangles. So whatever method you like to piece half square triangles, just piece eight half square triangles like this. For the patches, we just flip them over, match all three sides, and stitch along this long side. Press the seams open. We've got all of our step one pieces done and all of our half square triangles are ready. We have one of the A patches left over that will go in the center of the block. We're going to take the half square triangles and the small squares and piece the center unit. That is step three. So we're just going to follow the diagram and put this together. This goes in the center. This A patch goes in the center. So here is the center unit. And if we see how we need to put this together, let's split these of, across. So to piece this, we know we have to make these the same size as this, the center square. So I would piece these two together and these two together and press the seams. Then I would stitch them, the top and the bottom, to this center unit and then do the same thing on this side and this side. So you'll just piece these two together and then this one and this one. Press your seams and then sew it to this side. Same thing on this. You just have to keep watching to make sure that they follow the diagram. So every time you stitch something, be sure that it's facing the same way as the diagram so you don't have to rip it out. So that's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to stitch these two together and these two and stitch them. Then I'll stitch this column and this column and stitch them to either side of this unit. Now the center unit is done and I put a lot of starch on here because there's a lot of seams on this small piece. Right now this should measure six and a half inches. Okay, now we're just going to put the block together 
and we'll look at the diagram. These will go up here and down here. And these will go on the side. And you can see how the little sort of swirls are forming. And then when they go together with the blocks next to them, they'll have like a sort of like a S little swirl. So I'm going to stitch these to the top and the bottom, press the seams, and stitch the sides, and the block will be finished. Thank you for watching.